This video and the Fall TV Takeover are brought to you by PayPal, the simple and safe way to spend, send, and receive money. Download the app today. So you think you know TV? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best TV shows no one is watching. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at critically acclaimed shows that haven't really found a large mainstream audience and are more often than not underrated. Number 10, Mozart in the Jungle. Your new conductor and musical director, ah. Rodrigo. Uh, yeah, yeah. You might think classical music is for the old and the boring, but this Amazon original proves it can actually be fun and fresh and relevant for the modern world. With a whole heap of drama, intrigue, and competition, the web series sees tensions running high between new conductor Rodrigo and the maestro he replaced, Thomas. Are you aware that this man has publicly stated that the New York Symphony is an irrelevant corpse? Meanwhile, other characters like oboist Haley pursue their dreams of joining the New York Symphony and find themselves dragged into the turmoil that is Rodrigo and Thomas's power struggle. But with its playful take on classical music and its ability to take Mozart to the streets of New York, this show is well worth committing to. <laughs> Number 9. The Expanse That's great, so. The future of the human race is grim. People have colonized the solar system, and each new colony only has its own interests in mind, leading to an intricate game of politics between Earth, Mars, and the Belters, who are natives of the asteroid belt clamoring for the same rights as everyone else. I don't think I'm in any Get us out of here! You got it. Meanwhile, a small crew on a freighter and a police detective in the belt begin to unravel a huge conspiracy that threatens to thrust Earth and Mars into a war. With some of the best visual effects on television and storytelling to rival Game of Thrones, this series has the makings of one of the greatest, most well-thought-out science fiction shows of the early 21st century. The will to live, I'm so lonesome I could cry. Number 8, Horace and Pete. Yes, I'm Horace. This is Pete. That's a uh, previous Pete, Uncle Pete. In this web series, two aging men run a Brooklyn bar, which is stuck in the old traditions of its early days back in 1916. Coming from Louis C.K., we expect nothing less than brilliance from this show, and it delivers. Not unlike the black comedy Baskets, which Louis C.K. co-created, this show is part comedy, part tragedy, part drama. But Horace and Pete also presents debates about current affairs, making it almost philosophical. Just accept the fact that, that love is rare and, and it probably won't happen to you ever. It especially makes us think because none of the people involved with the bar do it out of love, and therefore they have to navigate their relationships with their job as well as one another, all while struggling with mental illness, love, and family. I'm the person right here, look. Goodbye, gone, when do I start? Number seven, togetherness. I don't do wanna go. What if I need you to go? It's hard enough living with other people without those people being your sister and her husband. When several adults live together, the real trouble is trying to avoid stepping on each other's toes. But watching other people trying to keep their marriage together has never been so entertaining thanks to the comedy drama Togetherness, which blends self-deprecating humor with some serious issues. Can we just hang out together as a family and chill? Everyone has their own thing going on and their own struggles, but as it turns out, there's nothing that brings people closer than living together under one roof. But despite that relatable premise and critics' love for the show, its viewership was weak, so it was canceled by HBO after two seasons. We can overcome anything. We can overcome anything. Yes. Yeah. Number six, Unreal. Welcome to Everlasting. If you think the things that make it on screen for reality shows are entertaining, prepare yourself for what happens when the cameras aren't rolling. Inspired by creator Sarah Gertrude Shapiro's real-life experiences working on The Bachelor, Unreal gives us a look at what happens when producers, showrunners, and camera people inevitably clash, and how all of these things spill over into the drama of the show they're trying to create. Lost it this time! You hear me? You let me! It's funny, it's heartbreaking, and sometimes it's downright horrible. But it's also some of the best TV drama to ever grace the small screen. How we doing? Give me update. Number five, Ray Donovan. You think you're the first person I've dealt with woke up in bed with a dead body. 
If TV's taught us anything about the legal system, it's that not everything is resolved inside a courtroom. In fact, a whole lot of things happen outside those four walls, away from the eyes of judge and jury. And not all of it is legal. Bag. The bad bug. Ray Donovan is what's known as a fixer. He goes to extraordinary lengths to bribe, threaten, and blackmail so that the clients of his law firm get the results they want. What did I tell you? You'll be there in a few minutes. Spanning multiple genres and tones, the show features Liev Schreiber as the titular Donovan, and boy does he do the character justice. He also keeps us intrigued and in suspense every step of the way making this a totally binge-worthy show. She told me to Number four, The Nick. You can only run away and join the circus if the circus wants you. Ever wanted to see a period drama crossed with a medical show? From some of the same executive producers that brought us the girlfriend experience, The Nick fills that gap as a fictionalized version of New York's Knickerbocker Hospital in the 1900s. Clive Owen portrays a flawed doctor juggling multiple drug addictions as well as his career, while Andre Holland must carve a space for himself among the all-white hospital staff, despite being better qualified than all of them. Your role is to talk Gallinger through the procedure, nothing more. With themes that are as relevant today as they would have been in the 1900s, The Nick delivers thought-provoking television that might make you cringe and might make you cry, but it will definitely keep you watching. Thank you, nurses. We'll take it from here. Number three, The Affair. I'm Noah, by the way. <laughs> I'm Alice. Being a writer is a momentous task. In this TV drama, it's while struggling to pen his second novel that Noah Soloway meets and begins an affair with a waitress named Allison Lockhart. I can't sleep. If I do when I wake up, I'm thinking about you. While Soloway is happily married, he's reliant on his father-in-law's money and hates it. Meanwhile, Lockhart is trying to repair her relationship with her husband after the death of their child. As it happens, these two damaged people are drawn together. <sighs> that was great. Thanks to some of the most creative storytelling we've ever had the pleasure of seeing on TV, The Affair is a compelling drama about desire, marriage, and hidden truths. Do you want this back? Number two, the Americans. The mission comes first. History remembers the Cold War as a terse standoff between the USA and Soviet Russia. For those who served in the intelligence services for either nation, this was the day-to-day -day reality. This period drama follows the Jennings family, who are definitely not who they seem. Elizabeth and Philip are Soviet sleeper agents living on American soil that are waiting to be activated. When that time comes, the show really kicks into gear and promises to be unlike any serialized spy thriller you've ever seen. And yet, despite the Cold War background, it never ceases to remind us that, at its core, it's a show about the difficulties of family. You can't just go rob banks and things. No, you can't. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Please don't contact me. Or turn off my house drunk in your underwear. It won't work this time. It will. We're finally getting out! <laughs> oh, God. I mean it! What's the matter with you? I just said we're closed. <laughs> Number one, The Leftovers. <laughs> There's no shortage of great shows on the air, but few of them can compare to The Leftovers. Based on a book of the same name, it quickly became one of the most well-crafted shows to hit television in the mid-2010s. It follows the lives of the Garvey family three years after 2% of the Earth's population has mysteriously disappeared. It's an event that throws the world into turmoil and results in the rise of various cults. Lucy! Lucy! You all right? You were right. Despite multiple seasons and multiple location changes, the show never runs out of steam. Thought-provoking and unpredictable, it delves deeply into the psychology of those who lost people they loved, as well as those who were left behind. You are not going crazy, Nora. How are you not going crazy after Evie? This video and the Fall TV Takeover are brought to you by PayPal, the simple and safe way to spend, send, and receive money. Download the app today.